Hello there. My name is Bob Gresham, and I'm the treasurer at Old St. Andrews. As all of you know, this has been a challenging year as a community due to the disruption that COVID-19 has created for the world. When we began the 2020 budget year as a parish, who would have thought that by March we would be doing live stream worshiping only for almost four months? As most of you know, we are now back with in-person worship along with a continuation of our live streaming. Because of COVID-19, our parish is faced with the additional challenge of thinking through how we continue our faithful stewardship as caregivers called by God to live faith-filled generosity. Yes, that is our theme for this year's stewardship campaign, faith-filled generosity. As a treasurer, I want to invite you to take a moment and reflect on what it means to have a generosity that is filled with your faith. Here are two questions to encourage your reflection. How is it that your faith empowers your generous spirit? And number two, in what way does your faith as a follower of Jesus sustain you who you are as a financial supporter of OSA. As you think about these questions, here is a video to guide your reflection time.
Let me share with you a little of what I reflected on. For those of, our, of us who are blessed with an IRA or 401k, we may be required to make a minimum distribution each year. This is known as an RMD. If you are required to make a re minimum distribution from your IRA or 401k, there is a tax advantage to setting up what is called a Qualified Charitable Distribution, or QCD. After you reach a certain age, you're required to withdraw a certain amount based on your age. The QCD will allow you to use part of your required minimum distribution to support a charitable institution such as Old St. Andrews. There are a couple of advantages. The amount withdrawn is counted towards your annual RMD, and no taxes are due on the withdrawn amount. The caveat is that the funds must move directly from the fund to the charity. This is an excellent way to pledge to the church and satisfy your annual required minimum distribution. This is just an overview, and I recommend that you contact your financial manager to review your details. On behalf of the parish leadership, I want to personally say thank you for your faith-filled generosity and for sharing your gifts as a fellow follower of Jesus.